a very good day to all of you computer shiksha is supported by in the previous class you all have learned about some of the options of the edit menu and the view menu as you know this is your practice class and today all of you will be revising what you have learned earlier before we begin the class let us discuss some of the questions can you tell what is the difference between standard and block area mode in the selection mode while working with the selection mode if you use the standard selection then when you select the text it will get selected line wise and using the block area mode you can select text wise or area wise can you tell what happens with auto text with the use of auto text for any paragraph that you may need many times in your text you will need to type it only once later you can create a shortcut key for that paragraph and insert it in your text wherever you need it using the shortcut key do you know why we use the paste special option with the help of the paste special you can paste your text or paragraph in many different ways do you all know why we use the change option with the use of the change option you can view any changes that may have been made in your document if any user has made any changes then these changes will be visible in colorful formatting to you can you tell why we use the field names option using field name instead of the field content you can display the field name if you have not selected field name option of the view menu then you won't be able to insert the date and time etc in its place you will find the field name appearing there can you tell what happens with field shading with the help of field shading option you can apply or remove shading on the various field names like date time page number count etc now go ahead and switch on your computers and open the writer file let us now begin today's class have you all opened the writer file type out the paragraph given to you have you completed typing the paragraph if not yet done then hurry up and complete the typing now all of you change the color of the line in the text and show how you will make the text bold and underline it using formatting options as has been done in the given paragraph if you like you can also show how will you use the font name option to change the style of the font on your paragraph have you all finished formatting the paragraph if you have any doubt you may ask your teacher let us now practice what we learned in the previous class now all of you use the paste special option and copy this paragraph and paste it on a new page if you have a problem then watch the video with the help of this video let us now see how the paste special option is being used to use the paste special option first you need to select the line text or paragraph which you want to copy for using the paste special option after selecting go to the edit menu 
copy it and place your cursor where you want to paste this copy now. Again, go to edit, choose paste special from the box of options which opens. Let us choose unformatted option and click on OK. Once you do that, you will notice that the text that you had copied appears without the formatting being done on this particular text. Once again, if you want the formatted text to appear, we will need to first select the text that we want to copy. Go to edit, go to copy. Click there so that this text gets copied. Again, place the cursor where you want to paste your text as is being shown in the video and take the pointer to the edit menu, choose paste special and this time from the options, let us choose formatted text and click on OK. This time you will see that the text gets copied with all the formatting which was there originally in the original text. So this is how you will use the paste special option. Now use the auto text feature and type out a line and show how you will use it using the shortcut method. If you have any difficulty then watch the video. Let us now watch this video and practice some more about how the auto text option is used. For using the auto text option, let's go to the file menu and from the new option, let's select a new text document. Now in this new text document, what we are going to do is type out a line as is being shown in the video. Once this line has been typed, we will by using the auto text option, create a shortcut for it so that we can use the same line again and again wherever we want on our writer page. This is the use of auto text. So right now we are typing out the line which you can also type out so that you get practice of typing also. It says computer shiksha is an 80G and 12A certified non-profit NGO. So you also get to know a little more about computer shiksha. And when you are practicing this typing, you also get to know many new words and their correct spelling. So we are saying, in this line we are saying, Computer Shiksha is an NGO. Computer Shiksha is an 80G and 12A certified non-profit NGO registered in Gurgama, working towards computer literacy among the underprivileged. Now that you have typed the line, just select this line, take your cursor to the edit menu, click there and now click on auto text. In the box that appears, the first thing you have to do is type a name for this line. So let's type something ABC or ABCD. We can also give a shortcut. Go to auto text. Let's first give a sh shortcut here. We are typing ABCD as the name and AD as the shortcut. Now go to auto text, click on the drop down button and click on new. So you will see that your 
text has got inserted there. Click on insert. Now place the cursor where you want your line to be inserted. Type out the shortcut which was AD and then use the F3 key once and you will see that your line reappears or gets inserted again. So this is how you can create auto text and use it. Next, use the change option and record something in your document. Also, tell what will happen if someone types something new in your document. If you have any doubts on this, then watch the video. This video shows us how we can practice the use of the change option. So to use the change option, let's go to the edit menu, click there and then click on changes. In this you can notice that show is already selected and we have also selected record. So now if we make any changes, like we are deleting some text, you can see that it is shown in a different color with a line on top of it. So the changes are being shown. You can also type in some new text as is being shown and it will also appear in a new color. So right now show is selected and record is selected. So all the changes that you are making to the document are being shown. If you go to the edit menu, select changes and this time if we want, we can remove or unselect the show option. You will see that the changes that you are making to the document are not shown. Any text that you are adding just is added as normal and anything that you are deleting like you are deleting the selected line. It does not show any change. It just gets deleted. Once again, if we go to the edit menu, click on that, click on changes and now again click on the or select the show option. The moment we select the show option, all the lines or that you had deleted, the text that you had deleted is shown with a line on top of it and any new text that you have added is shown in a different color. So this is how you can make use of the change option. Once again, we've gone to edit. If we remove record, it will not be recorded. If we remove show, the change won't be shown. So this is how you can use the change option on your writer page. And now show how you will remove the field name. And then also show how will you remove the shading from these. If you come across a problem, watch the video and learn from it. With the help of the use of this video, we will now be able to practice the use of field name and field shading. So to use the field name field shading, go to insert Mino. Click there, click on fields and click on date. You will see that the date appears. Also notice that it is shaded. Go to view, click on field name. So now only the date, the word date appears, date fixed. Click on fields and insert, click on time. The time as a word appears, click on fields again. Click on page number, the word page number appears, the actual data does not appear. To get the data, you have to go to the view menu, as is being shown in the video. Select the field name and now you will actually see the data. So the date is there, the time is there and the number one, page number one is shown. You can notice that it has a shadow behind it, select this, go to the view menu, click on that and then click on field shading and you will notice that the shading 
behind the field names or the field data dis disappears. If you want to apply shading again, you will select these fields where you want to apply the shading. Go to view menu, click on that and click on the field shading or select the field shading. And you can see that a shading appears behind the field names. Once again, if you select, go to view and select the field shading. This time the shading is taken away or there is no shading shown. This is how you can use the field name and the field shading option on your writer page. Next, use the block area option and show how you will highlight a part of your text in the given paragraph. If you face a problem, watch the video. Here we are going to practice the selection mode using block area. So to use the selection mode on your writer page, go to the menu bar, click on the edit menu and then choose the selection mode and from the selection mode choose the option for block area. Now when you select a portion of your line and then move your cursor downwards you will see that a block of those lines get selected. This is how you can use the block area mode of the selection mode. Show how will you hide the sidebar. Now show how will you again show the sidebar. If there is a problem, watch the video. We will now practice the use of hide and show of the sidebar by using the menus. So to hide or show the sidebar, we have to click on the view menu and click on sidebar. Right now the sidebar was being shown. So if we click on sidebar, it gets unselected and the sidebar gets hidden. It is not shown any longer. If you want to see the sidebar again, you will have to take your pointer again to the view menu. As is being shown in this video, click on the view menu. Use the view menu and from here select the sidebar. As soon as you select the sidebar, you will see that the sidebar gets shown again. You can also click on these dots here to hide the sidebar and click on the dots on the right extreme to get the sidebar again. Now, all of you show how will you convert your document into the PDF format. Today's class will end here. So close your file and shut down your computer. In today's class, you practice using some of the options of the edit and view menu like change, auto text, selection mode, field name, field shading, etc. Computer Shiksha is supported by Thank you.